quick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an unbelievable start to your week. Uh, I am not going to be long, but I do want to kind of get something off my chest. Um, before I do, I want to remind everybody that we are raising funds to fund the programs at the Odyssey Project that include the, our research center, uh, which I have manned for the last 15 years over uh, personally over 80,000 with the research over 100 plus thousand totally um, surrounding black issues, black uh, situations, realities uh, on a number of different spectrums. Uh, think Tank, uh, the Odyssey Project is one of two major think tanks on this topic, the Harvest Tool Institute being the other. If there are some more, please let me know. Uh, we definitely need so many more, uh, but we need that. But also programs, uh, program development, program uh, implementation. We use the research that we uh, conduct to devise strategies, create programs, and then we implement those programs and on and on. If you followed me over the years, you know what it is we do. Uh, you know what I've done. Uh, you know what I continue to do. You understand the consistency in my message and my work. We need your help. We need your support. Uh, look in the description box at the top, at top and you will see uh, the means through which you can support the work we do. I'm challenging you to do that. Um, now, one thing that I can tell you in my research, and I, and I do uh, a lot of research, uh, on our behavior and it's never been easier to do since the rise of social media because social media is literally a harvest site for data and you're engaging and you're doing your thing you may be just on there personally you may be on there promoting your business you may be on there just going at it and you know whatever your reason for being on there and uh, whatever but there are people collecting that data. They're watching your behavior. They're learning from you. Uh, it has allowed me to do a lot of great work in the community, but it's also shown me a lot of our fallibilities, a lot of our vulnerabilities, a lot of the issues and problems. There is an African uh, proverb that says, where there is no enemy on the inside, the enemy on the outside can do us no harm. And one of the biggest enemies we have, and there are a few, one of the biggest enemies we have is there seems to be this natural inclination towards uh, sensationalism. Uh, to put it another way, uh, we would rather be entertained than taught. Uh, we're too easily bored by information. We're too easily bored by the things that matter. And it's to the point where literally decades and decades ago someone said if you want to hide it from black folks put it in a book um, the crazy thing is it's actually true For and now don't get me wrong uh, I'm not sitting up here in any way saying that it's an exclusive phenomenon we're in a culture where nobody wants to learn everything if it can't be on a meme I ain't got time for it if it's on a video that video better be three minutes or less if it's in writing outside of a meme, good luck. And then we wonder why we struggle. We wonder why we suffer. Uh, my uh, statistics say that the top performing 1% are the people in this country who you know, are considered successful for whatever they do. And it's a number of different ways that you can achieve success outside of money, but like, you know, money included. Uh, out of the top 5% or the top 1%, they read an average of four books per month. They wake up on average at five to seven p, so five to seven a.m. at the latest. Uh, there are just a number of different things you get to understand about them, and one of the things is the the thorough and uh, unrelenting search for knowledge, uh, looking for it, feeling for it. Someone once told me I was a knowledge hound. Uh, somebody that you know I was sitting down and I was 
in their head. And they say, you're a knowledge hound. You're just constantly looking. The questions you ask aren't even about the questions you ask. You're looking for the deeper, uh, the deeper insight into the response. And I said, absolutely. I'm a knowledge hound. I get off on learning because it opens the gates and releases so much of the strain and the stress of the things that the people, the average people in this world have to go through. It doesn't mean that I don't face things. It doesn't mean I don't go through difficulty because number one, I don't know everything. Number two, I still don't control everything. But when you know more than most, you're able to move in a different way than most. And it's just simple mathematics. But when I look at what we do and how we are and how we behave on social media, it is obvious. I see it on my own uh, post. And you got to understand that being in business, I'm posting on dozens of platforms, dozens of times a day. I sit down and I literally have automated systems, CRM, CMSs that literally do this stuff. So I set up and I schedule this stuff. I put all this stuff up and you got dozens and dozens and dozens of pieces of content going out daily, right? And then I pull that data back in and I see which data gets what, why. Then we deal with causality. What are the influences? Uh, we don't make assumptions just because one post got 100 likes and another got two that it was just solely because of X, Y, Z. We look and we research. We dig. That's what I do. That's why when I'm coming to you with something, I'm not just talking off the top of my head. I'm not just coming from an emotional assessment. I have spent hours upon hours coming to that truth. It may take me 15 minutes to give it to you, but it may have taken me five years to really truly assess it. But my problem is you've got these minds out here, these brilliant minds, these unbelievable thinkers that are bringing you this stuff and you're passing it by for the sensationalized content, the content they know if they create it, it will distract you from the things you should be consuming and it will move you in directions by the very nature of how the subconscious is programmed and brought into states of theta, will move you into directions and behaviors that you aren't even aware of, the fact that you're doing and it will minimize your impact on the overall idea of black empowerment, uh, of overcoming or uh, of closing the wealth gap. There's a reason why we're where we're at. And while there are definitely mechanisms and machinations in place that are set there by a white racial caste system and are systemically uh, encroaching upon our efforts to do something uh, beyond being average or being oppressed and being at the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder. Some of it is we are participating in it. We are complacent and compliant. We are moving along and, 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 and being sucked in by the very things we should be fighting because it's, it, it, it's entertained. We want to be entertained. We don't want to be taught. We want to be entertained. We want, and, and that comes from this no, natural earning, yearning to uh, escape. Escapism is the great equalizer uh, to getting away from uh, all the ills that we are going through, all the situations that we are dealing with. And I just want us to get to a point to where we are actually focused enough to see what's in front of us and to make up in our minds that, hey, this is how we are going to move forward. This is the agenda. These are the protocols. This is the plan. This is the way we're going to go. We're going to come together. We're going to unite. We're going to challenge their greatest fear, black unity, by their own admission. We're going to challenge that. We're going to come together. We're going to grow together. We're going to support movements so that we build power. We're going to come to an understanding that individualism in the sense of feeling like only thing I need to worry about is me will never get us anywhere. Yes, you need to be your own person. Yes, you need to be able to define who you are because it's in that uniqueness that you have your value in the world. But at the same time, you got to belong to something. If you don't belong to something and you're on that island, you are fair game. And the moment that you don't align with the power structure, the, the, the power, uh, the powers that be, you become a target and then you become eliminated. It is truth that's 
uh, power in numbers, but it's not just in numbers that we need to focus. It is in concentrated numbers with a specific end game in mind. And so this is my challenge, man. We got to come out of this. We've got to get to a point to where we actually want to consume something that educates us, consume something that empowers us, consume something that points us in the right direction. I, nothing wrong with laughing. Nothing wrong with being entertained. Nothing wrong with having something with fun. But it has to have its place. The focus has to be in direct measurement in, 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 uh, in, in weight with the problem right now the problem is huge so our focus needs to be primarily and hugely on the solution that's it i'm gonna dip, get ready to get out of here take a little time off i still got a lot to do but that is what i wanted to give to you so on that note i'm gonna